Hi students, this is Varna. Today I am going to discuss about Vedas. When you see the word Vedas, you will definitely get a question what are Vedas. Vedas are about the language and the written script and mainly about the knowledge of the people who existed in the forest and written these Vedas. Vedas, what, what they have written? They written about yoga, meditation, prayers, Ayurveda, music, magic rituals, magical Vedas, like we believe black magic, Then about the positive and negative also. Like that yoga, we celebrate yoga has an international celebrations we have every year in June 21st International Yoga Day we are celebrating to show the importance of the yoga for all over the world and how they existed and what are the uses by, by the yoga and we are making that day is very special for everyone. So, International Yoga Day, we are celebrating for to know the enlightenment for the people who don't know about the yoga. And about the meditation and prayers which we go, today do for the God in way of uh, not only for the Hindus, Muslims or who do the prayer for the God as also in the Vedas. Especially about the yoga, meditation and prayers and about the social and economical and political life of the people, life of the people of the Vedas and how they change it from the later uh, early Vedic to later Vedic what are the differences happen in the Vedas and how the Vedas uh, written and what are the existed in till today like Varna system or the other uh, like Ayurveda is it medi uh, medicines and yoga and all these and the social accepts uh, uh, socially also they have changed drastically they have lot of changes like Varna system has changed them people into the different angle and it, it make uh, discrimination a lot in the society of India and all over the world there are the class class difference and the caste difference are the very uh, widely existed till today that was noted in the Veda, in Rig Veda it was uh, written very clearly about the Varna system of uh, in 10th Mandala they had written very clearly that Varna system of Brahmins, Kshatriyas and all that. With that caste system and also they wrote about the mantras, different mantras, Gaitri mantra or the, uh, they wrote about the uh, universe, universe which we till, till the, which today we are uh, very interestingly uh, ar archaeologist has uh, uh, sorry how the scientists are going for Mars and that they have written in the uni uh, about the universe in the Nasadeya Sukta in that way they have the wide knowledge about the Vedas and they are the people their people are tribes and they existed into small community and they wrote the Vedas and there uh, there is a there is no discrimination before there is only the uh, king existed this is all about electionate and hierarchy and they have the knowledge about uh, the society also which was around them and uh, what are the things going around them they have a good knowledge about everything and that make us to study about the vedas and we should know we should get a different knowledge from that Vedas, when you think about Vedas, it is about language you will feel. Don't feel in that way and see in the social accept or in the economical and political, the what are the changes happened from the last era to till today. That is following till today, we will, we, uh, we should be, inter uh, feel very uh, interesting to see, uh, to look after that issues and we should change, uh, evolve from that and we should change our mentalities. Uh, that is the importance of the uh, Vedas, so the uh, const, uh, like competitive exams are concentrating on the Vedas. So, what are the people evolution started and where we came till today, we should learn about that. So, competitive exams are asking questions about the ans uh, ancestors of our ancient history. So, for that, I said these Vedas are very important. 
So, Vedas, some scholars said that Vedas are written by Aryans. Aryans, Aryans written the Vedas. And who are the Aryans? You should get a question. Who are Aryans? Aryans are, some scholars said Aryans are not the natives of India. They travelled from the Central Asia towards India or some said that they travelled from the Tibet to India and some said that they are from polar region. So, what are the, uh, some, uh, most of the scholars be believe that they are about the, not the linguistic group, they are the race. 80% people believe that they are the, not about the linguistic group, it is, uh, it is about the uh, it is not about the race, it is all about the linguistic group. So, Aryans wrote that in which era? This is all about 1500 to 600 BC. Vedas were written in the period of 1500 to 600 BC and this was written by Aryans. Uh, who are Aryans? Aryans travel from different places, uh, different scholars had said. What are the native place of the Aryans were said by the different scholars? We will see that. Native place of Aryans. By historians. Here you can see uh, native, native places of Aryans are said by Max Muller they came from Central Asia. They came from Central Asia. Bal Gangadhar Tilak said. They are from polar region. And mayor said that they are Pamils. And JC Rod said they are bacterians. Saraswati said they are Tibets, Tibetians. So, these are the views of the scholars who said they came from different places and they make India as their native and they make the society evolved from one central to other parts of the India and they have the knowledge about the Himalayas and rivers were existed in the uh, northern places and they don't have the knowledge about south they said and they, uh, they surely not came from the south they came from the north and the different places so they said what are they we will see once again so Ma Max Muller said they are from Central Asia and Bal Gangadhar Tilak said that they are from polar region and also uh, Mayer said they are from Pamirs and uh, J.C. Rod said they are Tibet uh, they are bacterians. Swami Dayanand Saraswati, Saraswati said they are of Tibet. They came from the Tibet. Theater. They travel from different places and they make India as their native and they stay in the India itself. So, if you see some of the scholars of uh, some of the Britishers who work in India as a governor generals or the uh, uh, in different place uh, in different posts they have very interested to prove the relation between the uh, European language and also between the uh, Vedas the there is a some link between the Vedas and European language. So, uh, uh, the person named Sir William John who 
who is a worker of the British India, who, who worked in 1850s in the British India, were very excited to show that there is a language, uh, the language of the Vedas and the Europe. Uh, there is a, some slight uh, relation between the Europe and, uh, and the Vedas of the India. And he proven that and he said that this is called an Indo-European language. So, he made it uh, as an Indo-European language Vedas and what is the difference he showed that the difference between the Zoroastrian text and the Rig Veda which we have in the Vedas. The first Rig Veda we will start with the when we start Vedas there we will can see uh, the, na the name Rig Veda it was very slightly equal to the Zoroastrian text. So, and, with, and that also and there is a one famous uh, Bajoki inscription which was existed and uh, till today and there is some Vedic God names were written in that uh, inscription. It shows that the relation between the Indo-European language and it make the people to believe that they came from, they, the, uh, the people travel from the in uh, Europe to India or the Central Asia they travel from, they make people to uh, follow very strictly. And also this is called an Indo-European language. Then uh, how they say that they are came from the Central Asia with there are some examples have proven that they came from the uh, Central Asia and uh, they make India as a native. The, what is that? That is mainly Swat Valley of Pakistan and South place of Tajikistan proven that there are some horse, uh, uh, horse print was there which was uh, existed till today in the Pakistan and also in Tajikistan. It make uh, the scientist had uh, the archaeologist there is a there is a travel between the Central Asia and India. So, they travelled from that place itself from Pakistan to Tajikistan in the south of the Tajikistan. The may, uh, people have travelled to India and also Swat Valley in Pakistan we can find some grave pottery uh, which were ma specially made independently made in the Kashmir region that were that was uh, that was got in the Swat Valley of Pakistan make the uh, scientists to uh, think in that way and uh, and also Bajoki inscription and Zoroastrian text these are the examples of uh, different scholars mentioned in the uh, making of in, uh, Vedas. So, it may be concentrated by the con uh, exams. So, uh, they may ask why they call us Indo-European language what are the proofs. So, after that we know that Vedas are written in the Sanskrit and Sanskrit had made an official language in 2005. And uh, in 2005 Sanskrit and in 2004 Tamil and Malayalam, Telugu and also Odia these are the things happen uh, they, these are the languages came into the uh, official language and uh, Sanskrit is an one of the 22 languages of the uh, languages which exist in the constitution in 8th schedule Sanskrit is also taken a one, uh, one of the part and with that we, we may know the importance of the Sanskrit and the Vedas written in Sanskrit. So, uh, what are the important uh, official I said what are the importance of the official languages? So, official languages should have some uh, important uh, sequences. What are that? Why this uh, made uh, official language? Why? government gave the status of status of official language what are the important why they gave so uh, why government have given so much importance and make it an official language what are the uses Next question: What, I, why they make uh, these uh, these uh, these languages into official language? In what circumstances? What are the important stages steps they had taken to make these uh, steps to uh, make an official language? And also, who give this? Uh, who make the value of official language? So these are the important things you should think. Uh, you should question yourself and you should google it 
why i am making these questions because when you question yourself it will make very easy to uh, can, you can link from one topic to other topic it will make we uh, very easily why uh, government have given status of official language what are the uses why we need it what are the steps importantly what are the steps to make it an official language who make uh, who award this as an official language you should question when you raise these questions you will uh, easily uh, think of all this uh, you will uh, think uh, remember very easily so of uh, now we are going into subject what are vedas so vedas are vedas are divided into two types shruti and shruti and smriti shruti and shruti and smriti shruti are about the hair sec and this is about verbal transmission this is shruti why i am saying this is all about here sake because we uh, shruti is already written script of vedas and we cannot change it so it made her uh, to only to hear not able to write that or to change it so this is on here sake and uh, smriti is about the verbal transmission it will be changed according to the teacher who teach about like astrology uh, when when we go to astrology he will change Uh, he will say he will teach for one person to other person in a different manner and also yoga meditation these all teach by different teachers and the value of the uh, the teaching uh, the way of the teaching will be different so it is said that verbal transmission it will be changed to person to person and shruti it cannot change because it is already written script we cannot change it so in shruti we can have vedas there are vedas and brahmanas samhitas aranyakas vedangas these all about the shruti shruti we cannot change i said and uh, with that upanishads also there so uh, shruti is about vedas talk about the vedas and uh, samhitas and brahmanas and aryangas and uh, vedangas and upanishads it talk about shruti is talk about uh, these important things and it cannot be changed i said remember that the difference is shruti and smriti of the the difference between the shruti and smriti are this shruti is about here say and smriti is about the verbal transmission i said in shruti there are vedas what are vedas there are four different different vedas in there in uh, vedic uh, it, it was divided into four important parts like rigveda यजुर्वेदा साम वेदा और ऋग्वेदा यजुर्वेदा अथर्व वेदा देर फोर वेदास लाइक ऋग्वेदा यजुर्वेदा साम वेदा एंड अर atharva veda there are the four vedas and in different vedas there are different important things are there we will see what are that we will see here in rigveda if you see if you talk about rigveda there are 117 hymns are there hymns were uh, 117 hymns were divided into 11 martin mandalas So one and one and ten are 
till now very engaged one and 2 to 7 of oldest this is also longest one 8 and 9 are mixed age In Rigveda, they are in Rigveda they are 117 hinds are there and 11 were edited and they are 10 uh, this 117 hymns are hymns hymns uh, are divided into 10 mandalas. It, from that 19 are very engaged one and also longest process and 2 and 7 are very oldest one, 8 and 9 are mixed age. How can you say this belongs to such period? By make a question by seeing the difference of the language which were written in that Vedas make us to think clearly that they are belong to certain areas. So, here in 10th Mandala, it is about Varna system. About Varna system. Ten mandala is about the Varna system which we follow till today and it, it make a big trouble to India to decide uh, what are uh, the different the stages of the people and also with Varna system there Gayatri mandra in third mandala Gayatri mandra in third mandala and also Dasadiya Sukta talk about universe so Rikveda talk about 10th mandala it is about Varna system. Varna system was existed till today and in the which way they have divided it into uh, uh, this four mandalas, four Varnas we will see. Uh, Varna system, four Varnas. Brahmanas came from mouth, Kshatriyas from arms, Vaishyas came from thighs, Shudras came from feet. So these are the differences of the, the these are this is the step taken by the uh, to explain the Varna system that Brahmanas came from the mouth and Kshatriyas they are from thighs and Vaishyas they came from the arms and Shudras came from the feet and this make the discrimination of the people started from here. The Varna system of the 10 mandala make the people discrimination till today uh, which was very trouble to India. So, we should, uh, you may think that we should study uh, ancient history for this sake, what are the differences happen in the society, in the economical and political levels also, in the cultural aspects, what are the discrimination facing from, in, uh, uh, in these areas we will look after this. So, we should study ancient history, it may us to enlightenment, when we go to the job, when you are going to job, you should not have any discrimination with the people, with your colleagues so competitive exams were concentrating on this to know about the knowledge why varna system came and how it existed till today and what are the problems and why which we should not make the trouble for our colleagues or our neighbors so we should study in that way so uh, the word the word first word starts in the rigveda or agni it starts from the word Agni in Rig Veda and I said there are 117 hymns are there it was divided into 10 mandalas and 1 and 10 are the uh, oldest one, youngest one and it is very longest one with comparing to other, other, other than and 2 and 7 are very oldest one, 8 and 9 are mixed age, they, are, they talk about the Gayatri Mandra and uh, Nasadiya Sukta which is talk about the universe and the Varna system is a uh, uh, when you get a question of 
which mandala talks about the gayatri mantra just to remember that i will say here gayatri three is there three is very easy to remember third mandala three means one two three so it is come from the third mandala when you uh, so and also you can see uh, ninth mandala talk about soma juice about soma juice and nasadeya sukta universe and also soma juice about in ninth mandala they uh, talk about the whole ninth mandala is about the sacrifice of the soma juice Ayurveda. Now we are talking about Ayurveda. Ayurveda is about sacrifice or the prayers of for which we are offering for the God. This talk about prayers. The teacher who teach about the Ayurveda is called Tathriyas. Teacher name. Taitreyas. Taitreyas. And there are two, um, two Yajurvedas. There are two, the Yajurveda is divided into two parts. One is black Yajurveda and one is white Yajurveda. Black is called an Krishna Yajurveda. And shukla, white is called as shukla. So here in white Ayurveda, there is no brahmana, separate brahmana. It is directly included in the samhitas. And Shukla Ayurveda had Brahmana and there are a Samhita, Satapata Brahmana, uh, had a Brahmana, Shatapata Brahmana, this is called a Shatapata Brahmana. I will say once again, Ayurveda. Ayurveda talk about the prayers which we offer for the gods at sacrifice and also it talk about the, the teacher who teach particularly Ayurveda he is called as Tathriyans and also there are two Ayurveda has divided into two parts one is black Ayurveda and one is white Ayurveda black Ayurveda is called as Krishna Ayurveda and white one it is called as Shukla Ayurveda and in black Ayurveda you don't find the Brahmanas separate Brahmanas for that it was included in the Samhitas itself and in Brahmanas, Satpata Brahmana is very uh, Im, uh, important. Uh, it is only one Brahmana is existed in that, that is called Satpata Brahmana, remember that. And now we are going to Samveda. I said about Rikveda and Ajurveda, now I am talking about Samveda. Some way they talk about the melodies or the songs which we, um, melodies and the rhythms. It talks about the melody of the uh, uh, songs which we, uh, which we are singing for that, uh, for, for uh, offering the prayer they used to sing for that they make the melody or the rhythmic, rhythmic so it make, uh, they say make separate Veda for that. So it is called an Samveda. It have fifteen hundred and fifteen hundred and forty nine hymns, hymns, and this teach about the Samveda and sung on the Soma sacrifice mainly. It is also for the 
soma sacrifice which we have today wines in that way soma sacrifice is uh, very important in that ancient days which were got from the himalayas itself the especially women went to take the soma juice from the uh, himalayas and it will be offered for the uh, god and uh, there uh, there are separate bra brahmins who teach uh, who sacrifice for the god there are separate brahmanas are there they are the brahmanas are called udgatris what are they samveda is about teaching about melody and rhythms and they are 1517 1549 hymns are there and this talk about the uh, soma juice also they are the prayers for the soma sacrifice and the songs for the soma sacrifice that is the special class brahmanas will teach uh, make the sacrifice for the god that is that that special class are called udgatris and there are three brahmanas and two aryankas two brahmanas chitri brahmanas and two aryankas aranyakas so two three brahmanas and two aranyak aranyakas are there and if, if you come to atharva veda Atharva Veda it says that it is very interesting and important one uh, which talk about the chrono uh, uh, which talk about the magical spells are there in that and this talk about the uh, this is in chronological it is it is one last one and Atharva Veda was not included with the Vedas before and it was later it was included as the Veda in and it is very important and interesting. and it contains magical spells and they are uh, separate uh, Brahm one brahmana is there Gop gopata brahmana one brahmana one brahmana is called gopata brahmana Atharvaveda, one Brahmana, and it is called Gop Gopata Brahmana, and the, there are three Upanishads. So in that Mundaka Upanishad, which we make Indian motto, that uh, mo that Upanishad came from the Atharvaveda, and Mundaka. Mandukya. Mundaka Mandukya and also Prasanna Upanishad. The Indian motto came from the Satyamaya Jaitai came from the Mundaka Upanishad. These are all about the Vedas, Brahmanas, uh, Ved, uh, Atharva Veda. Atharva Veda have one Brahmana that is called Gopata Brahmana and in there they had some, uh, some Upanishads. There are three Upanishads in that. Mandukya, Mundaka and Prasanna, Prasanna Upanishad. These are all about uh, Vedas which we are seeing from uh, till today, existed till today. Like uh, for example, the Indian motto, mainly the Indian motto came from the uh, Prasanna Upanishad. The India called with other name Bharat, uh, Bharat is also came from the uh, Vedas also. Vedas, the, uh, the important tribes which were existent Bharatas is called Bharat. So, th this is all about the Vedic culture. Thank you.